Hi guys, welcome back to a new Boom Beach video. I'm actually on my main Boom Beach account because I had a good video idea for today. Today, I'm going to be trying to do Hammerman Strikes Back as a maxed out account. Now, I haven't done this in a while because I haven't had a maxed out account in a while. And since I maxed out this account, which was a couple weeks ago, I haven't done Hammerman Strikes Back. So I thought this is the perfect time to do it. A maxed out account versus Hammerman Strikes Back. These are the prototypes we're working with today. I don't know what I'll drop down. We'll have to see what the levels bring, but it's either gonna be the Microwaver or the Doom Cannon. Everything else is kind of trash. Um, possibly a Shield Generator, but we'll have to see about that. I also have a ton of suggestions for a Hammerman Strikes Back video coming soon. So I hope you guys are pumped for that. It'll be probably in the next couple weeks, hopefully. I'm hoping the prototypes kind of have to align for me to make this special video. So we'll have to see about that. But this is my maxed out account. And if you notice something, maxed out defenses at HQ24 all have this kind of grayish base to them. Um, not base as in like a boom beach base, but like a platform, a gray platform to them. The base of the defense is gray. So it's kind of interesting. I was really hoping for some like new defense skins. I'm kind of thinking the next HQ level, the defenses will change. So each defense will get a new look to them. I'm really hoping because the current defense levels, I'm getting kind of tired of the way they look. Also, we really need a warships update. You know, all these new defense levels should be the max for warships in my opinion. So I really think we need a new warships update warships really hasn't changed since um since it was released a year ago over a year ago dang over a year of warships that's insane okay so we're gonna speed up these first couple stages because as a maxed out player it's gonna be super easy for today's video i actually logged on to my low level account and i was like should i do a low level versus hammerman strikes back video but then i was like no all of my defenses are the lowest they could probably be they're not the lowest they can actually be, but it's very close. I just don't prioritize my defenses, so um, there is that. So I was like, okay, I'll just do it on my max account because my max account will be able to handle these stages. So that was stage number three. This is stage four. I'm still rocking my normal base design. I haven't even switched to my Hammerman Strikes Back base design yet. I also see a flaw with my base design. That shock launcher should be up a tile because you can double hit it with the sniper tower. So we don't want that, but I'm pretty sure stage four is going to drop pretty fast. Yeah, just warriors and zukas for the last couple boats. That's super easy. Stage four drops. Now, stage five is going to be a gamble. We're going to try stage five against my current base design, but. I really feel like we're going to have to switch it up. We'll see. Grenadiers first. We have to take down Grenadiers as soon as they land. Before any... Okay, two two left isn't bad. But we really have to take down Grenadiers and Zookas before Hammerman drops Riflemen or Heavies or any of that stuff. But this is going to be an easy win. Mostly because we were able to take down most of the Grenadiers and Zookas. Only two grenadiers left before Hammerman dropped Rifleman. Okay, I apologize. My face cam wasn't working for the first half. It is working now, so it should be working for the rest of the video. Hopefully, it doesn't break on me. We just defeated stage number five using my normal base design. This base, we're not going to be able to take out. Or this stage, we're not going to be able to take out. So, we're actually going to redesign our base. We're going to load up our... There's our hammerman. This one, yeah. Load up our hammerman base design. We have this new boom cannon. That goes to show you I haven't played this until or since the new HQ24 update, which is crazy. Okay. We're going to drop down a microwaver because I saw hammerman having 400 plus riflemen. He's going to be landing. We're going to have to readjust where the microwaver goes. I'm just going to stick it in the center and hope we'll be able to win. So it looks like right side to start. Let's go times times two. Times four is a little fast. So if I had to give you goals for today, I really just want to beat stage six. I'm usually not able to finish stage seven. That was such a waste of a microwaver. That was such a waste. Okay, so Hammerman, his riflemen are dropped super late, but the grenadiers are slaughtering me. 
this is a very hard stage six, but we're not giving up. We're gonna try to defeat this. We have like 10 minutes left in today's video, so we are gonna try everything in my power to defeat this stage, but it's gonna be hard because we don't have any ice statues. Maybe I should drop down an ice statue just for the sake of it. I have a maxed out building health, and we no longer need this resource reward because we're maxed out. You know what? I've never done this for a video. I think I've only had ice a few times in my Boom Beach career, but we are dropping down a maxed out building health. We're gonna boost it up, that's 64%. And we're gonna redesign my base a little bit. First of all, this rocket launcher, I think, was destroyed right off the bat by stuff. So we're gonna move it off to the side so Hammerman doesn't destroy that right off the bat. I'm gonna shift my microwaver over to, you know what, we're actually gonna drop two. We're gonna have one over here, and then we're going to drop down another one. I really wanna beat this stage, if you cannot tell. I'm, I, I really wanna beat this. I'm gonna drop down another one over here on the left hand side to take out that wave. And let's drop down a Doom Cannon in the middle here, or maybe kind of front. Kind of front. We'll see what happens. I'm so excited. This is the biggest I've ever gone in for a Hammerman Strikes Back. Okay, so no longer barding down the rocket launcher. You can clearly see I have no clue how these stages work, but my microwaver is hopefully gonna take down all the cryoneers. Perfect, I think they're almost all gone. All the riflemen look pretty gone. Now the bombardiers or grenadiers came in. Okay, we're looking pretty good so far. Some of the grenadiers are walking into the microwaver range and my doom cannon right off the bat is just annihilating his troops, which is exactly what I need. Okay, so this next microwaver or this microwaver Please just take down the Rifleman army. Just lasts a little bit longer. Building health is insane. Building health is helping me so much. Wow, that's insane. That's insane. Okay, I think we'll beat this. We'll put it on times two. This microwaver over here was so clutch. Are you kidding me? This was so easy. What the heck? That was insane. That was perfectly placed. I just want to talk about this for a second because high IQ, I got pretty lucky, but that was crazy. Okay, so this microwaver, first, building health helped me so much. Now, I'm not saying you should drop down ice statues to defeat Hammerman Strikes Back. That's really not a good strategy. I only did it because I want to have some cool content. But here's what happened. Because this microwaver had enough health on it, 19,000 extra HP, I was able to take down both waves of riflemen on the right hand side. The doom cannon here didn't get taken out and it was slaughtering his tanks and his grenadiers all the time. And then this perfectly placed microwaver on the left hand side completely annihilated the next or the left hand side rifleman wave. We're not stopping there guys. We are gonna try Hammerman Strikes Back stage seven it's very hard to see what he's attacking with, but he's attacking with eight maxed out mechs, one maxed out Scorcher, 32 maxed out Grenadiers, and 360 Riflemen. It's gonna be interesting, let's jump into it. Mechs are kinda bad, but he shocks my Doom Cannon. That was, that was sneaky, guys. That was so sneaky. Okay, we'll put on times two because mechs are pretty slow. The Doom Cannon is back in action, but Oh, oh, the microwaver is so clutch, guys. Oh my gosh, the microwaver is insane. Completely annihilated that whole, that whole uh, wave of riflemen and very strong. Oh my gosh, this is so easy. I've never defeated Hammerman this easily before. Did all I need is a health statue boosted up i mean 64 percent hp boost is crazy that's a large amount of hp but i actually defeated hammerman strikes back granted it was with ice typically when i i mean every time i do hammerman strikes back it's not with ice but i'm i'm so excited that's insane i love that that was a lot of fun to do i only lost once and that one time 
I barely took down any of his troops and then literally the next stage I want to watch this battle again because it was that insane so watch this microwaver right off the bat we'll put on times two again taking down all of his cryoneers taking down his riflemen and then he lands grenadiers some of the grenadiers walk inside of the microwave of rage this whole time this doom cannon is picking off tanks and grenadiers nothing else is taking down tanks these boom cannons are too far away i think this microwaver completely took down that wave of riflemen on the right hand side that's honestly the clutchest move of all because you know what if i didn't have the health statue this microwaver would have dropped and he still would have had a ton of riflemen on the right hand side that would have provided a buffer for his grenadiers and tanks and i would have lost if i had these three prototypes and i didn't have the health statue in this exact same base design i would have lost guaranteed there's no way i would have defeated this it would have been too strong and then this microwaver over here just stopped that left hand wave that was insane i hope you guys enjoyed this video i really enjoyed making this if you did please drop a like as always and let me know down below how far you got in this week's Hammerman Strikes Back. And if you want to see any more content on this, it's kind of exciting to do this. I might do this again next week just because I really like having the ice statue. It makes it so much easier. So much easier. So I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.